All right. So, um, I made myself an enchanted boomerang. It was a, uh, cost me a star. Well, seems pretty good. Uh, I also have some builder's potions, so that'll be good for when I want to build up the building. I actually might want to do that right now, come to think of it. Um, so I guess, well, I, you know what? Never mind. Um, I could use a better axe for cutting down tr uh, trees. So I'll hold out on that, but I, I, I put everything away. So uh, this spider's nest is going to be a constant pain in the butt because it's always going to regenerate webs. I'm not sure how to like how we're supposed to deal with, with that uh, zone. There is a way to permanently get rid of it, as I said, but not sure. Can't remember how. We've got a bunch of water coming down. We should I should be able to get to the underworld in this episode. Not that we necessarily want to, because we can't really do anything down there until we've beaten um, Skeletron, Skeletor, Skeletron. I don't know. Can't remember which one. Um, but like all of the all of the actual good stuff down there, we're gonna need um, a better pickaxe for, and we're gonna need a uh, some of the keys that we get from the dungeon. So not not much we can do down there really, um, but having our like elevator access is good. There's a little bit of copper. I wouldn't normally be excited, but I basically only need one more bar to to make our wand. The sugar glider actually like kind of spooked me there. It looked like something. It looked like something about to attack us. Alright. Boomerang is doing a good job. It does actually do more damage than the uh, the weapon I was using. Not that that's a surprise. I'm pretty sure it was just an iron... Oh, almost died to a boulder. It was uh, it was just an iron sword. Broadsword. The uh, the boomerang isn't going to be particularly good. And it will uh, it'll become redundant pretty quickly. But I like it. And, uh, you know, that's... that's it's, it's better than what we had. That's the important part. No! No! Okay. I also, I made a little weather vane. I thought that that was, was cute. Um, alright, so do we have some stuff that we can make? We've got some, we can, we can store our stuff. At this point, I might just want to, like, head towards the left side of the world and look for extra caves and stuff and, and try and find other sources of accessories and, and, you know, stuff. Terraria really is just about finding things. It's it's not more complicated than that. And I like it for that. I like it for its sim simplicity. It'll get complicated later. I love that the, we've just completely flooded this zone. There's a beetle. A beetle is good for getting some dye, maybe? Oh, red husk, nice. So we can, we can turn that into dye a little bit later. Well, we got some gold ore here. I really should make some, uh, 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 um, like an axe so we can chop down some trees and then work on HQ a little bit. I'm assuming we cannot... Oh, we actually can collect obsidian. Um, amazing. I, I really didn't think we were ready for collecting obsidian. I think, I thought we had to have at least like a, um, corrupted... Pickaxe, I forget what, it, what what it's actually called, but you know it's got a, it's got a name. We are probably gonna drown here, maybe. So why don't we start collecting obsidian? And actually, I'm gonna, cause at a certain point the water just evaporates. If it gets to the underworld, it just evaporates. So it's actually better to try and like preserve it. So that you can more easily collect um, obsidian. This is actually a great opportunity to just check a box while we're down here. This is—it's really early to be collecting obsidian, but you know, it, it is a—it is nice. Oh God! Okay. Oh, that was silly. All right, well, we, we should have enough copper and maybe even enough gold to make, uh, like, our axe and also our wand. Do we not have enough copper? I guess I, I may have I may have stored our copper away. 
gonna get uh, take me some time to get used to my organization system here. I know it's my organization system, so it, I shouldn't it shouldn't take me time, but it will. So 15 magic damage, very slow speed, weak knockback. I actually don't think that this wand is worth it. I know that that is annoying because I I said I wanted it and now I don't. But um, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it. It doesn't seem worth it to me. What can we make though? Um, oh, obsidian skull grants immunity to fire blocks. We definitely want this. Nice that we can make it this early. And it is a material for like future stuff. Oh, there are other forms of staff. Emerald staff, slow speed, average knockback. Does it differ at all from the uh, amethyst wand? It does. It it's actually a little bit better. So it might be that, yeah, different wands are going to produce different um, amounts of damage. So maybe I just want to hold out for like a, 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 a diamond wand or something. The husk is a, is a die, as is the marigold. So I'm just kind of shoving these here for now. I guess I'd, I could go collect some trees. Wow, that, uh, that obsidian skull taking our face is really scary. That, that, I feel like that's a new feature. I don't remember that being the case before. But damn, that is really spooky. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna collect a bit of wood and then I'm gonna work on the HQ. So uh, we'll, do, like, we'll do another little time lapse or cut here. All right, we should have enough to improve HQ. Let's, uh, let's see. I'm actually going to use a builder's potion. We'll see how, how much faster this, this, the work goes here. How long does this last? 45 minutes. Wow. Amazing. Okay, let's do it. All right, we got ourselves a traveling merchant. I think that this is about as tall as I need to make this for now. I'm definitely gonna wanna fill those. Uh, we're, we're gonna wanna gonna wanna make a lot of those functional, but let's see if the um, traveling merchant has anything cool for us. Maybe a yo-yo would be kinda nice. Blue team block, master gamer's jacket. I thought I told you to clean up your room. Master gamer's pants, arcane rune wall, press. Pressurator, automatically places actuators or on play. This is a logic gate thing. Um, Star Princess Crown, Star Princess, this is a lot of nothing. Summons Esty, this is a <laughs> platinum to afford that. And then we have a painting that I can't afford. Well, uh, sorry, I can afford it. I just don't want to. <laughs> so um, that's a lot of, that's, that's a lot of nothing. Well, and I just just barely ran out. Um, so let's put some torches here just to lighten this up a little bit. And I'm sure I'm sure this like condo is gonna like irk a couple of people. I don't blame you necessarily. I know it's not super pleasant to look at, but it works for me. And uh, that's I think that's all that really matters. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe there's a more optimal way to do this. I think that this works out pretty well. It's not very pleasant. Uh, so let's see where we got a couple of new NPCs. We got the the nurse. We can throw her over there. Oh, we got we got the zoologist. Oh yes, she she sells some interesting stuff. Guide to critter companionship prevents you from hurting critters while in the inventory. That's nice. Um, squirrel hook grapple on the trees like a real squirrel. Nice. Uh, cat license. Adopt a cat for your town. Already have a cat? Use additional licenses to activate the pet exchange program. Find the perfect fit for you and your cat. Koi kite. Lizard ears. Lizard tail. Good stuff. Good good stuff and also useful stuff. If you couldn't hear um, the sarcasm in my voice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being slightly flippant. We're gonna go check out the left side. And like I say, we are, I will make um, actual worthwhile houses. Oh, we do some actual decent damage now. We can, I think we can actually get wings from the, the vultures. 
I guess uh, it would be worthwhile grabbing some of these tall trees. Oh, is that an actual squirrel that fell out of the tree there? I can collect animals. There's like some reason to do so. I'm not sure what. I think the enchanted um, bow actually sheds a little bit of light. So is this our ocean? No, this is just a uh, fairly deep pond. Oh, and we have more corruption. Do we have corruption on both sides of us? I didn't think that was possible. I don't know why I didn't think that was possible. That's a that's a reality I have to live with. I like the little extra creepy in the background there. Let's uh, so you know I will uh, at a certain point. Ooh, we, we're gonna want to, you know, dig deep down into these corruption zones so we can um, destroy some balls and then uh, kill a boss. Is that in the fore- no, that's in the- this is in the foreground. I thought that that was actually a background element. It was so small, I didn't realize. We do want to collect these chunks so we can summon bosses in the future. Nice of the zombie to kind of light his- light the, the area for us. More stars- oh, is that a chest right there? It is. Nice. Let's see if we can't get something good. Okay, let's loot this quickly. What is that? Hasty step stool. Oh, that's gotta be- Maybe the most useless material. Someone's gonna correct me. He says, well, actually, that's used to make, uh, you know, the, one of the best swords in the game. The, the stool sword. And you know what? You're not wrong, maybe? I don't know. If, you, if, you, if that is true, then you're not wrong. That's uh, what you call a half-truth. Actually, you don't... You know, it's not true at all, but... So, hey, we found the... the, the we found ourselves a jungle. Jungle is pretty spicy, even in the early game, even more so in the late game. One of the spiciest zones in the game, for sure. Also, got some good stuff. The The jungle has some really nice stuff to discover. We've got ourselves a beehive. Oh, there's our first man, man trap, I think they're called. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to do this right now. Um, there's not much for us in the jungle, in the deep jungle, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it's good to know where it is i might also be confusing the you know my experience in the jungle as uh, in in hard mode when when we've defeated the wall of flesh things get really nasty I, I tend to have a pretty bad time in terraria with the early part of hard mode i think this is probably pretty common for people because um we've got some moonlight there moon glow um you know you, you've just entered you know, the hard part of Terraria, or at least the first hard part of Terraria, and uh, all of your gear is bad, comparatively speaking, to what, you know, what you're fighting and what is fighting you. And a lot of what is fighting you is doing so very aggressively and without your consent. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's vicious. It's really, really vicious. Um, Terraria gets nasty in the mid-game. And I generally have a really rough time in that first part because it's like you're just dying left, right, and center to stuff. Can't really do anything about it. You just need to like kind of grind up some materials for uh, some of the late game gear. But you know, it's worth powering through. Terraria is worthwhile. Oh, there's a frogo in the in the water. I wouldn't mind uh, honestly getting the net just to just to try and collect some critters. I kind of like to collect collecting critters and stuff in Terraria. It's it's fun. It's a nice little extra thing to do. You don't have to do it. Terraria is like, um, it's kind of unique in that it really is full of alive things. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a bee hive and they are angry now. And, uh, you know, I appreciate like the, 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 you know, Terraria celebrates all of its alive things. Not just its enemies, but also just like the ambient extra critters by letting you capture all of them and it's it's a good time and then and then there's also shiny versions of some creatures it might be just the um the squirrel there's a golden squirrel there's actually i think there might even be like gem versions of certain critters which is kind of wild i am collecting these these moon glows are actually really worthwhile i can't remember what they make, but I do remember needing them for something. I'm definitely going to be making use of potions 
it's, you know, downright necessary if you want to defeat some of the bosses. Oh, potions stay pretty relevant throughout the entire Terraria experience, which is pretty cool. Not just healing potions. Healing potions change. I didn't think it was that close to death, but okay. Store our stuff. What did we get? Warding radar. Oh, it's got four defense. That's really nice. Warding radar is uh, actually pretty nice. I think I'd get rid of the um, climbing boots, even though it's extra damage. Um, and we have this heavy step stool. Let's see what this, the heavy step stool is actually used for. Hand of creation. Oh, this is a new item, actually. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is actually a new, new item. Treasure magnet increases pickup range for items. Ancient chisel increases mining speed. And then architect gizmo pack increases block and wall placement speed. Increases block placement and tool range. Automatically paints or coats placed objects. Interesting. So there's like basically the, the, is this also a material? No. So this is the ultimate, like, if you want to build, that's the thing to build with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish off HQ for, for, you know, as it is now, it may change a little bit later, but as it is now, I'm going to, I'm going to finish it off. I wonder if our potion is still in effect. Probably not since I died. And I know it's going to irk people if I don't fix little things like this. So I, I will try and, uh, do my part not to make this series like completely insufferable for you i appreciate you watching it even if uh you know for for those who are um you know find maybe my playstyle not optimal um i i appreciate you hanging out with me and and uh joining me on this series i don't know how long the series is going to last like i say if it uh, if it doesn't meet certain criteria in terms of like how how many people are enjoying it and I probably will just end it and then enjoy Terraria for myself because, you know, you got to kind of do that. No sense in turning playing video games into a career. You know, uh, when, you, when you're playing video games all of the time um, for in, in the hopes of building something like, a, say, a YouTube channel, at a certain point, the, 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 the magic disappears. I'm just uh, wondering if I set off some explosives, I might uh, make the demolitionist come. Oh, I think we already have the demolitionist. So what do you have? What do you have for us? Not much. Okay, we'll sell our grenade. I don't really need grenades. So I didn't quite make it all the way to the left side. We got a zombie arm. That's fun. Oh, I can make some. Uh, I can make some stuff at this living. This is uh, so we can make living furniture, which is a special kind of stuff. And I, we do have our first mana crystal. And I think um, while we're at it, I'm not quite done this episode. And there's there hasn't been as much editing in this episode as there has been in previous episodes. But while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and finish um, our elevator. I think we're, we're very close to being done here. We got our obsidian mass, though. That's, that's really early, I got to say. This, um, you know, this series might be quicker than I thought. Every time I've played Terraria, it's felt like a lot. You know, you play a lot of it. I think that's a topaz tree over there, by the way. Um, you know, Terraria is, I wouldn't say, it's, it's a pretty long game. I'm sure you can, like, you can play it for hours, obviously. We got a nice, this is actually a perfect mining zone for, um, obsidian. Very grateful for stuff like this. Because uh, this is going to make, uh, you know, getting obsidian very important, um, or very easy. And we are going to need a lot of obsidian because uh, you need it to get some of the mid-game gear. And I will definitely be um, getting full sets of that gear. <laughs> I appreciate how uh, this, this kind of stuff works out. Ouch. Actually, I'm going to switch. First of all, I'm going to get some air. I'm going to switch to, to not smart mode. So that, yeah, in case um, something like that happens where the obsidian gets replaced by lava and then I end up taking a little bit of extra lava damage. Because the thing is, is that as soon as I, um, as soon as we get to hell, all of this water disappears. Man, the sugar glider. I, I kind of don't like the sugar glider. It's like freaking me out every time it flies towards me. There's a geyser. <laughs> the geyser is underwater and it's hurting me here. Blood zombie statue. Ironic that we would get the blood zombie statue. We don't have blood zombies in our world. 
Those are crimson creatures. I don't know when I want to summon uh, Eye of Cthulhu. I'm kind of content not doing that for a while. And I'm going to have to grind uh, the Eye of Cthulhu a few times. Also, since I am playing by myself, it is going to lend a little bit of extra difficulty. I haven't played too much of Terraria, like, purely on my own. I usually have some, like, you know, a friendo. But uh, it should be interesting doing some of this stuff on, on, on my own. I'm, a, I'm a especially a little bit nervous about some of the uh, late game kind of metal versions of certain bosses. I'm just gonna mine this so that it gets rid of the lava a little bit. This is probably uh, not a good way of doing this. But that's okay. Remember, I don't play optimally. I play bigly. That's how I play. I don't play goodly, I play bigly. A little bit nervous about some of this, but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave that lava on the right side there. We don't need to do to disturb that. Also, if, oh, okay. If, if I disturb it in a really bad way, it'll mean that I don't have the little bit of water left here. We do have the water on the right side there. Yeah, I think I, I just messed up. Can I block that off? No, I can't. Ooh, ooh. oopsie. That was exactly what I was worried about. I should have trusted my instincts. Um, how do we deal with this situation? I think what I'm gonna do is um, dig a channel into the right side there. Look at how many skeletons and stuff are over here. Sometimes uh, enemies like end up in a kind of a spawn pit. We do get quite a bit of stuff, like money. Don't worry, I understand the danger of what I'm doing right here. Yeah, I've, I've really done this in, like, the worst way. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with the situation. And I'm gonna probably end the episode here, unless something extra happens, but... Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get rid of that last bit of lava. That was actually a lot easier than I was worried about. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.